members, volunteers, alumni, family, friends, staff, and welcome to our virtual Hennepin County 4-H Award and Recognition Ceremony. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day so far. Today, the Masters of the Ceremony will be the members of the 4-H Hennepin County Ambassadors Program. And I'm Eva. And I'm Maggie. Now that we've all introduced ourselves, let's get this show on the road. First, let's hear about some awesome people who have made this event possible. Thank you, donors. Now, I would like to introduce Hennepin County 4-H staff, Katherine Sharp, Amy Mondel, Katherine Wynn, and Amy Kalura, to present the state of 4-H in Hennepin County. Hello, Hennepin County 4-H community. We know that this has been a year of tremendous challenges. None of us could possibly have predicted the massive life changes that COVID-19 would bring about. We know that it's upended all of our regular lives, and for young people in particular, it has caused an enormous range of losses and changes from school to time in sports and with friends to much anticipated rituals and beloved traditions, including many 4-H traditions like camps and the fairs. We also have experienced the pain of ongoing injustices within our communities of color, especially the devastation of George Floyd's killing. We recognize that feelings are especially intense among the young people we serve who themselves have experienced racism or violence. We as a youth program are absolutely committed to working to address racism in ourselves and our program. And we strive to create opportunities for us to learn and grow together so that we can transform our community to be one where everyone belongs. All of us are safe and cared for and we strive for equity for all of our youth and their families. In the midst of all this tumult, we also hold fast to hope and nothing makes us more aware of that hope than you, our 4-H youth, members, families, and volunteers. We are committed to you. Thank you for being an enduring light. This has been a time of great pivoting for us as a program. With all that has changed in how we do things, we are so proud of what our Hennepin County 4-H program has been able to accomplish this year. Here are a few highlights. With the ongoing limitations of COVID-19, our Hennepin County 4-H team has innovatively adapted to the new environment to continue to successfully reach and engage youth in new ways. Our keyword, as you've heard, has been pivot. Because of this pivot, our team engaged 195 youth in 4-H offerings between April and August and distributed 136 educational kits to summer partner programs. The Franklin Library 4-H Club decided to take on creating a couple of murals near the George Floyd Memorial site in South Minneapolis as a way to honor and lift up their community. They chose quotations and collaboratively designed and painted the murals, which have been warmly received by community members. In June, our Hennepin 4-H team facilitated three virtual events for open dialogue and discussion for volunteers, youth, and parents on topics of racial justice. These conversations led to the creation of a new local project area called Youth Engage for Change, which will be facilitated in both a self-guided and a virtual setting um, series for youth to take on issues they care about and be equipped to be social change agents. And even though our in-person ex ex exhibition events unfolded quite differently this year, we're proud of our Hennepin County 4-H team, all of you members and caring adults who provided innovative ways to showcase our young people's achievements in learning and mastery. In total, 65 4-Hers participated in our 2020 showcase events this year, including seven youth and seven projects at Food Review, our virtual arts review, which had 22 youth who brought 17 projects, our virtual project so showcase, which highlighted 26 youth and their 72 projects, and our animal science and livestock shows, which hosted 20 youth and their 77 projects. In August and September, 22 Hennepin County 4-H youth continued on to state 4-H showcase events. We are grateful for your willingness to pivot with us and try something new and different this year. And now we will turn it over to Amy. Thanks, Catherine. Hi, everyone. This summer, our Urban Explorers 4-H Day Camp program moved entirely virtual. This was our seventh year offering summer programming with the Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board. And together, we engaged 41 young people across five weeks of virtual day camp. 
We explored a variety of topics centered around environmental education and stewardship. And by far, our strongest asset of this camp came from the leadership of seven awesome teen camp counselors. They successfully maintained that camp feeling within our virtual daily settings. And despite being an out of the ordinary summer program, we had so much fun. And now let's hear from Catherine, who will tell us about her Ready, Set, Grow program. Thanks, Amy. This year, Hennepin County Extension Collaborative Gardening and Healthy Living Program, Ready, Set, Grow, served three sites, Franklin Housing Cooperative in Minneapolis, Success Academy in Bloomington, and Shafi Tutoring Center in Hopkins. 7T youth were supplied with a project kit and offered guided learning through Zoom with educators. Each project kit comes with five different activities for youth in grades K through eight to do over the summer. 24 youth across all sites have participated in virtual guided learning with nine youth from Franklin Housing sending in pictures of participation. Amy Mondal has also been hard at work. She's been in North Minneapolis cultivating our urban agriculture initiative. Five of the 4-H green team members from North High School worked with Minneapolis Community Gardens to grow 165 pounds of fresh vegetables for their local community this summer. With the help of four volunteers from the Master Gardener program and from University of Minnesota College students, the green team worked to design a medicinal healing garden for the North High School courtyard. In total, this team has dedicated over 100 hours to designing this garden, now set for installation sometime this fall. Lastly, we'd like to take a moment to shift to an even more serious and somber matter, as it has to do with a young person. Just this September, we lost a young member of our Hennepin 4-H community, Matthew. Matthew was a lifelong member of 4-H in Hennepin County. His older siblings grew up in 4-H, and his mom is a lifetime leader. Our hearts are absolutely grieved at Matthew's passing, so I want you to join me in a moment of silence to honor this young man. We never know how much time we have to walk alongside each other, especially the young people in our program. Whether it's through their entire childhood, their teen years, or maybe just a few short months in a summer program, the work we do with young people is so very important. We're grateful for the time that we have had with Matthew, as well as the time we have with each and every young person and caring adult who engage in our 4-H program. This work is so critical, it's so essential, and it's a privilege and a gift to do this youth development work with you.
Welcome back all. Let's get started with our ceremony. We start off with the awards tonight with our awards for Outstanding Youth. Tonight, we're excited to recognize the hearts and hands of our program, our amazing youth. Whether a young budding clover bud or a career exploring senior, we'd like to recognize all of our Hennepin 4-H young people. We are so pleased to know you all and are grateful for your amazing contributions to your families, clubs, communities, country, and world. Thank you for making us better. Everyone, please give them a round of applause. Thanks, 4-Hers. Next, we'd also like to recognize our 4-H seniors this year who have completed high school as well as their time in 4-H. Please congratulate the following 4-Hers with me. Seniors, thank you so much for your engagement in our 4-H program. Congratulations and best wishes in your next endeavors. Next, we would like to recognize our 4-H officers who provided leadership, direction, and mentorship to their fellow 4-H peers. Youth officers are the faces, voices, and heart of our program. Thank you to our 4-H club officers and youth leaders. Next, I would like to recognize the 2019-2020 County Level Leadership Team of Federation Officers and Ambassadors. Thank you for your leadership last year. And please help us welcome our 2020-21 Youth Leadership Team, our Hennepin County 4-H Ambassadors. Thank you so much to all the youth who serve in leadership roles across our county. Now, we'll begin with our first Youth Award of the Night. These awards were created by Hennepin County 4-H Youth to recognize 4-H leaders who make exceptional contributions to our program each year. These awards recognize our fellow 4-Hers who are achievers at any age, champions at creating welcoming and inclusive spaces, and rising stars. Our first award is the Growing Clover Award, which recognizes our youngest 4-Hers in age and biggest in heart. We recognize clover buds who have grown since starting 4-H, whether actively participating in their club, showcasting projects at county fair, demonstrating new skills, we are proud to recognize the 4-Hers and their following big wave. We definitely encourage families and friends to nominate other clover buds for next year's fall awards. Next, we are pleased to announce this year's Kindness Award recipients. These youth are exceptional in being welcoming and inclusive to everyone. Whether new members, business meetings, events, and even in their worlds outside of 4-H, they shine their light as positive role models and let you know that you belong here. Congratulations to the following 4-Hers. Congratulations to you all. We are so grateful for your kind, welcoming, and inclusive efforts. Our next award is the Rising Star Award. This single recipient of this award is recognized for their hard work and dedication to overcome barriers and challenges, inspire others, and is a positive change maker in their club and community. 
I'm pleased to announce that this year's Rising Star Award recipient is awarded to Sean, who served as a camp counselor for our virtual Urban Explorers 4-H Day Camp this summer. Congrats, Sean. Project records are a great way to keep track of your progress in 4-H. For each project area, you can create an annual portfolio to share and showcase all that you have learned in that 4-H year. Project records can be recorded in a number of ways. Pictures and descriptions in a binder, a three to five minute video about how you create and share your project with others, or even a PowerPoint presentation with descriptions and pictures are welcomed. However you want to record your progress is an A plus to us. <laughs> At the end of each 4-H year, you have the opportunity to submit your project records to the 4-H office for a review. After each review, you get a project pen to showcase your accomplishments for each project area you have attempted and completed. Try every project area to collect all the project pins possible. For outstanding record keeping, you may also be eligible for a cash prize sponsored by the Hennepin County Youth Leadership Foundation. This year, we would like to award the following youth for the project areas for this 4-H year. Our next award honors our 4-H leaders who lead behind the scenes. The Florence Galky Award is given to 4-H members who exhibit a willingness to work without always receiving recognition. This award honors Hennepin County 4-H's longtime youth and 4-H leader of the Victory Robbins 4-H Club, Florence Galky. In her name, we honor youth who display a willingness to help other members, a willingness to pitch in and work without needing to be in the limelight, whose non-competitive and cooperative attitude allows them to exceed, and who are consistently relied upon to do what is needed to help the club and its members succeed. For these 4-H youth we are honoring, we are thankful to have them in our 4-H clubs, where the smallest action can make a huge impact. Thank you all for the outstanding leadership. Congratulations to the following 4-Hers. <laughs> Congratulations to these outstanding youth. Next, we'd like to congratulate the following 4-Hers who were recipients of the Hennepin County Youth Leadership Foundation Scholarship. As a board member of the Hennepin County Youth Leadership Foundation, I would like to tell you about our foundation. A foundation can be defined as an institution established to maintain funding for a specific purpose. Our mission statement is, 
The Hennepin County Youth Leadership Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to providing support to Hennepin County youth and adult leaders. Our vision statement is the foundation will recognize achievement and provide monetary support for educational and leadership opportunities. Originally established in 1963, this foundation was called the Hennepin County 4-H Foundation. It was founded by 4-H volunteer leaders who sought to recognize 4-H members who had exhibited outstanding leadership and achievements and also to honor adult volunteers. In addition, a goal was to generate funds for a permanent 4-H building on a permanent Hennepin County Fairgrounds. The funds were generated by donations from various businesses, memorial gifts, and membership dues. Hennepin County did not establish a permanent fairgrounds, but in the last 53 years, our foundation has monetarily supported youth and adult leaders, clubs, and activities. Currently, we help sponsor this annual awards and recognition evening and offer graduating seniors the opportunity to apply and receive scholarships to further their postgraduate studies. In addition, we honor a Spirit of 4-H award for an outstanding senior 4-H member. We give monetary awards for project records and give a recognition plaque to a friend of 4-H. We also provide scholarships to members attending Yellow, Blue, Arts Alive. We provide small grants to individuals or clubs for specific needs. Tonight, we are seeking new members to carry on our mission. If you or someone in your club is interested in supporting us, please consider becoming a member of our foundation or donating to our ongoing mission. To inquire about membership information and or to donate, visit us at email at hcylf1 at gmail.com. We, we participate and give to the Max Day, which is Thursday, November 19th, 2020. You can find us in, on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Hennepin County Youth Leadership Foundation. Together, we can make the best better. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have a special presentation. We are very excited to announce that our very own Bill Svensgaard was inducted into the National 4-H Hall of Fame during a virtual ceremony on October 2nd. Bill grew up in 4-H and spent his career as a 4-H youth development professional in a variety of roles. Bill remains connected to Hennepin County 4-H as a fine arts judge, an archivist, an author, an educator, and a dear friend. Presently, Bill supports Hennepin County 4-H from the past, present, and future, and we are so thankful to have the opportunity to continue working with him. If you know Bill, please send him a note of congratulations. We are so fortunate to have him representing Hennepin County 4-H and Minnesota in the Hall of Fame.
Welcome back, everyone. Now we'll move on to our adult volunteer awards. The 4-H program would not be possible without the hard work from all our wonderful adult volunteers who dedicate so much time, energy, and love to our 4-H youth and their families. In addition to adult leaders, our Hennepin County 4-H advocates dedicate many hours organizing 4-H events and activities. We thank our 2019-2020 Hennepin County 4-H advocates. Now, I'd like to recognize our Hennepin County adult volunteers for their years of service. The 4-H program is strong and successful because of these volunteers. If you join the ranks of our volunteer program in the 2019-2020 year, thank you for making this important decision to make a big impact on the lives of our 4-H youth. We look forward to your leadership, which cultivates our young people to be civic-minded, service-oriented, and amazing leaders. We would also like to recognize the following volunteers who have achieved milestones in their years of service. Please help us congratulate the following. Our next award honors Raydell Robbins, the daughter of L.V. and Marvin Cook. The Raydell Robbins Award honors an adult volunteer whose leadership generates positive impact across the Hennepin County 4-H program. Growing up in 4-H, Dell became an active volunteer in the Hennepin Dog and Rabbit Projects. She was an inspirational leader who founded the Rabbit Agility Program in Minnesota. In her name, we honor a volunteer of today whose confidence and self-starter mentality leads our program towards greatness. Congratulations to Ms. Candice of the North High Green Team. Congratulations to all of our volunteer award winners. The final awards tonight recognize adults and youth who represent the true heart of 4-H. First, we'll start with a friend of 4-H awards, which are awarded to those who give exceptional service to Hennepin County 4-H and prove critical to the strength and success of our 4-H program. This year, we have the privilege of honoring three friends of the 4-H. Please join us in recognizing the following recipients of this outstanding award. The Spirit of 4-H Award honors our 4-H youth who are an active participant in Hennepin County 4-H at both club and county levels. These youth take on leadership positions for events, are positive role models, and share their knowledge and experience with others. Please join me in recognizing the following recipients. Congratulations to the Spirit of 4-H Awards recipients and all of our award winners tonight. We know that many, many more youth and adult leaders who contribute to this program than we can give awards to tonight. We are grateful for all of you and all that you do and bring to Hennepin County 4-H. We would like to thank you for watching our virtual awards ceremony and we hope you all have a great night. Thanks for watching.